Peace and love, family. I really appreciate all of you for being here. First off, I want to say thank you for 500 subscribers. I am extremely grateful and I'm just full of gratitude that I've reached this level. I set this goal out for myself to reach 500 subscribers by October 16th, but I'm way past that. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I lost 61 pounds in a period of eight months. One thing that I want to mention is on your journey, you're going to have to look at it as a learning experience and not as a failure. So it's going to be times where you fall, but don't focus on you falling. Focus on you getting back up and focus on the present moment because you can't control the things that already happened. You have to let that go. So focus on the things that you can control. You have the opportunity to take your power back every time. And that's something that I learned on my journey. When I started my fitness journey, I started my journey with five minute workouts. So it's crazy because a lot of people be like five minutes. Yes. Yes. That's how I started. I said, you know what? I'm going to start slow. Slow and steady wins the race. So I started with five minute workouts and each week, each week that went by, I increased my workout by five minutes. So now I work out anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour. And that took time. That took, took me slowly increasing um, my workouts. We getting into the food now. I started off meal prepping every week with a protein which was a meat a vegetable and a grain so when i did that i realized like i felt like that when i did that i felt like that was healthy but in all reality it's not healthy we know meat is a carcinogen and it has uric acid and they are adding, they are injecting things into the meat to make it even appear to its color. And it's flesh. It's flesh at the end of the day. Not to knock anybody that's eating that way, but I'm just saying at the end of the day, when you think of it, it's an animal that's being slaughtered and it's flesh. This animal bleed like we bleed. This animal have a heartbeat like we have a heartbeat. This animal sneeze like we sneeze. This animal gets sick like we get sick. And we are putting dead flesh into our bodies and expecting to get energy and life and vitality from it. When we are not in all reality, these animals are being mistreated. And we are picking up on the emotions that these animals have going into their death. We are picking up on the diseases that they have going into their death. And we are picking up on all these things that's bringing us sickness. So in order to thrive, you have to eat living foods. So I learned that later on in my journey. But I'm just saying that when I first started, I was eating like that because that's what I thought was healthy, baked chicken rice vegetables things of that nature but really it was not healthy for me so i had to eventually let the meat go and let the dairy go but that's how i started i started off eating that way and then on the weekends it was even more terrible because i thought well i did good for the week i prepared my meals throughout the week and i had baked chicken and rice and vegetables all week long i prepped my food for the whole week and now it's time to reward myself with Chick-fil-A and McDonald's and eating out all day long. It wasn't like I had a cheat meal. You know how some people have a cheat meal? I didn't have a cheat meal. I had cheat meals, meaning breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And in between, I was eating all kind of stuff. And I was expecting to get results from that. So the first two months of my journey I didn't see any results. I had stubborn fat real bad, which we all know that processed foods create that, that fat around the waist, that stubborn fat, processed foods and processed sugars. So 
it's it's just gets stuck it gets stuck in the gut so i was eating like that and i wasn't stopping i had to eventually let go of the meat let go of the dairy let go of the alcohol let go of the processed foods to really see results and i really didn't start seeing results until i went on an all fruit cleanse really i did fruit and salads that's it when i did those that fruit and salad consistently and then i did an all fruit cleanse for 90 days um 30 days of that was juicing that's when i really saw results and i really felt the best that i ever felt i would literally be operating out of depression and operating like i was like the walking dead for real like when i tell you i would get up and have no energy like zero energy i would get up have no energy and soak in depression all day long and like what i mean by soaking in that like i wouldn't do anything i wouldn't cook i wouldn't clean i wouldn't do nothing for a period of time like months and months i wasn't operating at my best i just felt dead and I got tired of feeling dead, so I just decided, like, it's time for me to change what I eat. And I didn't realize that until I started bumping into videos of people talking about it. Because, like I said, I, I never was conscious of these foods not being good for me. I never thought to look at the back of a box. Or I never thought, like, oh, only the produce section is beneficial. These are some things that I learned along my journey. I wrote down some things, some messages, and I want to share that with you guys. So I got my journal here. There are no shortcuts. You have to be committed and you have to be willing to put in the work. Regardless of how you feel, you have to show up. Be gentle with yourself. Remember, you are doing something new. It's unfamiliar and uncomfortable, but it's beneficial for your growth. Often we want to stay in our comfort zones because it's familiar, but it's no growth there. We have to be patient with ourselves when doing something we never done. We have to give ourselves grace when we face challenges. At times we fall, but we don't fail. We get up and keep going because learning comes from experience. And this is a part of the journey. Don't pay attention to the numbers on the scale. You are going to disappoint yourself. Focus on what you're doing. Results don't come overnight. Focus on what you consume and remember repetition is key. You have to put things in your temple that are living. We are electrical beings and we thrive off energy. It don't matter how much you work out if your eating habits are poor. Know what it is you want because all of us are going into it with different goals. My goal was to lose weight, then ultimately that changed to me wanting to be healthy and feel good. So it's no longer about that anymore. There are no such thing as cheat, cheat meals. Crackheads don't go to rehab and smoke crack only on the weekends. That defeats the purpose. The goal is to get off the controlled substance, not minimize how much you use it. And that is it. Peace and love, family. Thank you so much for watching and I love you all. Peace.